Hi boys and girls, today is Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. All right, I enjoyed seeing you all on Zoom this week. Go ahead and let's draw a nine centimeter line segment for your name. Nice straight line. Write your last name. Go ahead and write left, right. And you know to mark that I3. All right, let's take a look at the date. Today is April 22nd. All right, let's use nice handwriting starting at the beginning of the line. Leave a space, comma, leave a space. Okay, your whole date should fit on the line. Go back and make corrections if you need to. All right, and today is Wednesday. And remember, when we want to spell Wednesday, we think Wednesday. So, Wed Nez. Use that nice handwriting. Day. All right, red markings for Wednesday. All right, our S is making its second sound. And of course, we have A, M, A. All right, go ahead and do 12 tally marks. So pause the video while you do your 12 tally marks and while you go back and correct any of this or finish it up. Then come back and check your answer. All right, help me do my tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. Space, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Space, 11, 12. All right, today we are practicing 112 for handwriting. Remember a two is 10 o'clock up, land underneath where you started and go the direction you read. Remember that base of the two should be flat on the baseline. It shouldn't be kicking up a little. All right, whisper 112 while you practice writing it. All right, I made some mistakes on my handwriting. See if you can figure out what mistakes I made. See if you made similar mistakes. All right, my first two are correct. This one, did I land underneath where I started? No. So this one should have come and landed underneath before going the direction you read. All right, this one, notice the base is kicking up. It should be flat on the baseline. And this one, did I start at 10 o'clock and then go up? No. All right, make sure you're checking your handwriting and making corrections just like I did. Count your digits on the line and write even or odd. Then unpause your video um, to check your answers. All right, let's see what you did. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Oh, we have 15 digits again. And we have that E double E. Your F's and your T should be the same height and your cross should be at the same spot. All right, let's underline E double E. All right, and we always look at the ones place to determine even or odd. And two is even. Okay. All right, spy tools out. I spy 112 in problem one. 
I spied the word four in problem five, and we can underline the out, o, u, u, and put a two over it for its second sound. And that's it today. All right, let's take a look at our word problem. All right, Walter counted the puzzle pieces. He had two groups of 10 pieces and six extra pieces. All right, so let's draw that. Just like we do when we draw groups of 10 pennies. We're gonna draw two groups of 10. So draw your two groups and let's put your 10 little spots in it. All right, and then he had six extra pieces. So six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So, how many pieces of the puzzle did Walter have? All right, well, I want you to use what you know about tens place and ones place to write your answer. Then I want you to go back and count to double check your answer. All right, let's see what you did. We have two groups of 10, so we need a two in the tens place. We have six ones, so we need a six in the ones place for 26. Let's check that. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, right now I want you to skip problem three. We're gonna go back to that one at the very end, okay? All right, let's go to problem four. Get out your brown and underline the word brown. And that last coin we have with Abraham Lincoln on it is our penny, so let's color it brown. And you can put your brown away when you're done, and we're gonna sing our money song. Okay, ready? A penny is one, a nickel is five, a dime is ten, and a quarter is twenty-five. All right, so we've got some different coins here today. Let's mark what they're worth. All right, dimes. What are dimes worth? Ten. So let's put a ten under our dimes. Nickels. What are nickels worth? Five. Let's put a five under each nickel. All right, so to count your money, you have to count by tens, then count on by fives, and then count on by ones. I want you to pause the video while you do this, write your answer, then unpause and check against me. Okay, let's count and see what you did. Ready? 10, 20, count by fives, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. So you should have said 41 cents. All right, here's another way. If you had a hard time with that, another way you can do it is if you take two nickels and circle them, you can pretend that they're a dime. You can pretend they're a pen, okay? So let's check our answer that way. Let's count by 10. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. Okay, I want everyone to do this money problem on the back and have mom or dad check your answer. Okay? Pause the video, go do that, and then come back and join me. All right, something new today. Everybody say polygon. A polygon is a shape that has all the sides um, are closed and touching, okay? So if you kind of pretend you were inside a polygon, there'd be no way to escape, okay? So I'm gonna do quite a few polygons on the board and then you're gonna pick a couple to draw here, okay? So let's move this out of the way for a minute and let's talk polygons. All right, 
Hmm. Is this a polygon? No. See how there's a hole? That's not a polygon. What about that? No, it's open. That doesn't count. All right, let's see. Is this a polygon? Yeah. What about this? Yeah. What about this? Yeah, that's a polygon. Hmm. A trapezoid is a polygon. A, let's see, this is kind of a funny shape. That's a polygon. Yeah, a polygon is a shape that just has all the sides with no openings, okay? But let's see what they wanted us to do today. Today, they want us to draw a four-sided polygon. So, you have a couple choices for a four-sided polygon. You can draw all of them in this space, or you can just pick one to do. All right, so, of course, you could draw a square. A square is a four-sided polygon. You could draw a rectangle going this way or going that way. Or you could draw a trapezoid. All of these are four-sided polygons. So pick at least one and draw it. All right, we are back to subtracting 10 and adding 10 and doing three add-ins. Pause your video until you have these done and your polygons done, and then unpause and check your answers. Okay, what did you put? Ready, count with me, 51. 41. Now we're adding 34, 44. All right, let's see. Oh, two is friends with eight, and they go on a date. 10 plus another number, I write a one. I copy the other number. All right, if you got these correct, well done. If not, or if you had a hard time with them, I want you to turn it over and do these problems on the back. All right, don't go yet though. We have got to do problem three. And Friday on your math test, there's going to be a problem like problem three. So make sure you do this with me and then maybe even practice it some more before your test Friday. You can do one of them like this on the back. All right, remember, this is where you kind of use the same three sentences each time, but you fill in the different numbers from your problem and you can pick a different animal. Pick something you can spell because this should be spelled correctly without mom or dad helping you, okay? Make sure you have a capital letter, spacing, and a period. All right, so we always start out with our sentence as I see, and I'm gonna draw a line. You're just gonna, you're not gonna draw a line though, okay? All right, so I see blank blank. All right, what is our first number? Six. All right, so instead of drawing a line, you would say, I see six. All right, and here's where you pick your animal. So pick something you can spell, like dog, cat, pig. All right, I see six. I'm gonna pick cat. Now, there's more than one cat. I need to add an S. Read it to make sure it makes sense. I see six cats. Okay, I'm not out of room, so I don't need to go to a new line. Remember when you're writing, you don't go to a new line unless you're out of room. All right, so what is my next sentence gonna say? I'm gonna switch colors so it's a little easier for you to follow. Okay. We're gonna say, I see And I'm gonna draw blank, you're gonna wait blank. More. And blank again. 
All right, so think about what do we fill in on this one? Okay, well, we look at the next number in our addition sentence, so nine. Boys and girls, I want you to concentrate on the writing of this and not the phonograms right now. So we're not gonna do markings. I see nine more. Then you just have to copy your animal again. And there's more than one, so we need an S. Don't change animals or that would make your problem not make sense. Okay. So go back and read that sentence. Make sure it makes sense. I see nine more cats or whatever animal you chose. The numbers should be the same because we're all doing the same addition sentence. Okay, the next sentence. Now, I see, now I'm gonna draw a line. All right, so this is where we have to fill in, oh, my line's big enough our last number. So the numbers are right there. We just have to write the number word, don't we? Remember, during a test, I'm not going to accept a number. It has to be the number word, okay? I see 15. And our animal is still the same, and there's still more than one, so we need an S. Okay, so boys and girls, you can take this exact thing and you can change out the, the numbers and the animal and practice using different number sentences. So you can do this on the back. You can ask mom or dad to write you some number sentences to practice. Make sure you've got this down for your test Friday, okay? All right, after you finish today's math, you have a math fact sheet, number 124. Pick one of the sides to do. It's all subtraction problems. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.